Right now, I'm going to impart healing. I'm going to impart healing. Healing is multifaceted. It can heal your relationships. It can heal you in your mind. It can heal you in your body. It can heal you in many aspects of your life. Any and all. He is no respecter of persons. Impartation demands a response from you. It demands faith. For you cannot receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord without faith. You cannot receive the baptism in the Holy Ghost and speak in other tongues without faith. You cannot use any gift or receive any gift from God that He freely gives you in the realm of the Spirit without faith. Faith pleases Him. So if you want to please God, use your faith. Because He said He's given to every man a measure of faith. We can never stand before God and say, I didn't have faith to be saved. I didn't have faith to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I didn't have faith to receive healing. I didn't have faith for deliverance. He said that he gave you a measure of faith to use it. It requires action on your part. For faith without corresponding action is dead. And it will not profit you at all to receive impartation when you don't walk it out. Walk by faith and not sight. Walk by faith and not what you say somebody else says. Receive impartation and you will be healed. He sent his word and healed you and delivered you from all of your destruction. Destruction that you did yourself. There are people out there that nearly smoked themselves to death. There's people that have been bound by alcohol and drugs. You understand the pleasure of sin for a season. And in your body, in your mind, in your relationships, there's repercussions for the wages of sin is death. It is physical death. It can be mental. It can be relational. It can be financial. It can be situational. It can be eternal. So you are paying for many things that you did. But I know somebody that paid in full for you while you were yet sinner. Christ died for you. Himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. And by his Christ, you were killed. And done a deal as far as he's concerned. And he said, I will impart this. And when I impart it, you will receive it 100% of you. And then you act on it. You do something. Corresponding action. It requires you to use what you have. Receive it that has been imparted unto you. I'm going to do the same thing that God instructed me for the baptism in the Holy Ghost for your healing.
and cut off the heads of every demon, every devil, every spirit that's coming against you and attacking your body and your mind and your life in Jesus' name. But I cut them aside, cut their heads off and sever it with the sword of the Lord and gently presence there with flame and two edged swords to cut off every serpent's head. But